This week on My Ride Rules. Oh, your mouth shut up? <laughs> oh, this is Fox Black. Oh, bounce it. <laughs> golfer. He's convinced his retro truck will run down his competition. This car is the model of perfection. Chris is a chef who owns his own catering company, and his 2008 Audi R8 is definitely cooking with gas. My ride is going to slice and dice the competition. And in this week's pole position, Jenny's a girl who loves her shoes big and her wheels even bigger. My name is Jenny Alvarado and I live in Santa Ana, California, and this is my ride Cheeto. After being discontinued for eight years, the Camaro was reintroduced in 2010. Edmunds called the new Camaro its top pick among modern day muscle cars. I love my car because it is sporty, but it's also really cute with its candy paint. What's not to like in my five inch heels and my 26 inch wheels? Let's see if Yanni's Camaro can get these guys motors revving. <laughs> Hi guys, hey. this is my heels. If I had high heels like you, I'd be the same car. I got 26 inch reels, they're Benchies. I got the custom grill, T-Rex, and I got a custom paint job, Candy Apple Red. And what I liked most about Cheeto was the paint, but paint alone isn't going to help it win. My first impression was just a new Camaro. I did do my interior, put a little vinyl leather, so it's not like the other stock Camaros. V6? Yeah, it's a V6. Oh. Unstoppable if it had a V8. Being a Camaro, you expect it to have a big motor. You expect it to have some horsepower. It just didn't do it for me. Supercharge it or your twin turbo, it's V8. But the problem is to get the rims. You can't go that fast with these rims. It's not a fast car, it's a show car. You want to go slow? Buy a V6. You want to be ordinary? Buy a V6. You want to save gas? Buy a V6. My first impression of Chris was he was a total <laughs> Chris, you don't have anything on me. We get the fact that it's not fast, but it's a show car. Well, she's going to grill when we come to his car. <laughs> oh, believe me, I am. I am waiting. What's most impressive about Cheetos? Uh, young girl driving it. Can't wait to see your car so I can bag on you, you too. You go ahead, knock your socks off. OK, haters, let's take it for a ride. I'm first. Uh, there's too much weight. There's way too much weight in that. Did you hear that bang on that little, little bump? I mean, you can just a mull and drive. Well, come on, look at how much weight it has on the left hand side. <laughs> come on. Hey. Poor car. Not you. I even lost 30 pounds. Where? I think I found it. <laughs> Horsepower was good. It was like driving a standard car. As I got the lot. I went to GM, bought a car, I'm driving it. It actually steers pretty good for being I mean, for the big wheels. Man. Yeah, I know. I didn't think the steering is fine with me. Just hitting those bumps. This car, I doubt, goes on the road. Ew, it I'm, does. I'm thinking this is the first time it's been on the road. No, it's not. You see the miles? How many miles does it have on it? 23. Three. See? No. Told you. That's miles per hour. <laughs> 13,000. I'm impressed for Yenny because she's out there driving her car. She says she is going out to shows. You don't see too many women out there representing cars, period. I think that's incredible. Like a go cart. <laughs> I feel like my go kart. I used to hey, drive really like my car, okay? Wheel down here. If I, if I sock you, will your mouth shut up? <laughs> wow. Guess Yenny thinks she can beat a good score out of these guys. Remember, 
they can award up to 10 points in three categories, appearance, performance, and personality. On appearance on Cheetos, I give it a seven. It looks good from the outside, but when you start actually looking at each piece by piece, it starts falling apart a little bit. Driving Cheetos reminded me of driving a Scion or something. It was missing that power at the pedal. It was very compact. On performance, I give Cheetos a three. It's really lacking. For personality, she's kind of cute. I'll give her a seven. And the car's OK. I know that my car is the best. I can't wait to see what these other clowns drive. <laughs> Coming up, is Will's truck going to tank the test drive? Oh, oh, man, we found a flaw. Oh. Plus, the competition gets dirty. Yeah. You didn't even clean it. Parking on the grass or what? Welcome back to My Ride Rules, the show where four car owners compete against each other and decide whose car is the best. So far, we've met Yenny and her Camaro, but her Chevy Hot Rod is about to meet a long-lost grandpa, a 1946 Chevy panel truck. My name is Will. I'm from Thousand Oaks, California, and this is my lady in red. When it comes to his retro ride, Will's motto is don't mess with a classic. Panel trucks were used as delivery vans, ambulances, and hearses. The roots of modern-day SUVs can be traced back to the panel trucks of yesteryear. Lady in Red is unique. You don't see too many of these out on the road. Everything I did to this car is going to put it a step above everything else in this competition. She's a beauty. Wow. When I first saw this truck, I thought it was really sexy from the front. So starting up here, chrome, the front grille, original headlights, headlight cans. Down here, we've got the Chrome Beauty Ring, 350 Chevy crate motor, pushing about 340 horse. Put the Mustang two front suspension on it. The engine, the paint, the tires, the way the car looked, the attention to detail, just great stuff. So in the back, we got the nice oak floor, stainless steel trim. Wow. For the wow. Nice. I can fit a lot nice of shoes in there. <laughs> Don't tell my wife that. <laughs> She'll take it shopping. I like it, but you could have went with some more pinstriping. So maybe some leafing. Yeah, maybe. Went with the new style. It's too big not to have a lot of designs on it. And I would want to throw a couple of murals on this thing. Didn't want to overstate it. I love how it's uh, red like my Cheetos. I love that. I knew you'd like that. Another point for Will. <laughs> how are we all going to fit in there? Maybe Chris can sit on your lap. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know Crush. about that one. Crush somebody. Maybe Francisco, but I don't know. Time to find out if this old timer still has to get up and go. This was completely thought out. He had a plan. Everything in this car is nice and neat. There's nothing out of place. He thought about everything. I'm surprised you can't hear a squeaking. It must be that suspension upgraded. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's smooth. What was impressive to me, he upgraded the suspension, so the ride is completely different from what it would have felt like back in those days. Oh, oh man, we found a flaw. Oh. This thing shut off. <laughs> I stepped on the gas, and it died. It died. Not my fault. Really embarrassing. I just, it just, I had not drive. I don't know what happened. It just went Wow. Ride's nice. I don't know how I feel driving this whole car. I feel like, you know, I'm like old. <laughs> I feel like. Grandma! I didn't know cars could be so old. And he restored it. I like it. Get it up, Grandma. Come on. I feel Stop like I'm driving in it. Look at that. I feel like I'm 50 years old. Holy cow. <laughs> I don't know about these mirrors. I feel like if I move them, I'm going to break them. 65 years has lasted this long. I don't think you're going to break it in one day. Okay, let's say I crash it. How long do you think it would take you to rebuild it? How about it? you don't crash it? <laughs> His truck survived Yenny's crash test. But will it survive the scoring round? I give Will a 7 for appearance because the color should have been a little brighter because red's supposed to like pop out like mine. For performance, I give it a 7. It died on me. What can I say? Mm. It died. <laughs> Will's actually different from this car. I was expecting him to pull up an older Chevelle or muscle car. And I seen this, I was surprised. For personality, I gave it a 9. Pretty happy with the results. It was nice to hear Chris not have anything to say, at least in my presence. I'll be curious to see what they have to say, you know, when the judging comes up. Chris may not have much to say about Will's truck, but he's got plenty to say about his Audi R8. My name's Chris Adlish. I live in Cascade, California, and this is The Dark Knight. In 2006, Chris threw down a hefty cash deposit to become only the second person in L.A. to get his hands on this supercar. 
we gave it carbon fiber door panels, steering wheel and dash, not to mention one of a kind carbon fiber rims and a supercharged engine. The day that I got it, I literally cried. My first supercar. Now you can, it's just like your firstborn. I'll never have a kid, but I will always have my firstborn supercar. It's a chickmobile, baby. The tires rule. I can just enter the tires. The tires beat any of these other cars. My tires cost more than all those cars put together. When I first walked up and I saw the Audi, one of my top three favorite cars, I was just like, great, this is what I'm going up against. Come on, Chris, you brought this? Come on, Chris. Right. Not even it looks like you just bought it yesterday. Oh, this is stock black. Exactly. You gotta clean it. Oh, you didn't even clean it. Come on, look at the tires. Look at the water spots. He's parking oh on the God. grass or what? I can't get over to this dirty. He needs to respect his car more. I mean, come on, Chris. At least wash it before we get here. I was expecting more. I know, I know. Well, I was expecting a yes, helicopter. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that Chris was driving this car just because he's such a jerk. I just wanted to stomp on him and be like, see how it feels? Chris, Nothing else in the world. you were when saying you were dirty? falling. Come on. I like the carbon fiber, but it's just it's plain. If he really wants to be separate from the rest of the cars, he should have went with a flat black. Tell us about it. It's a V8, supercharged. It's a 22-quart dry sump engine. So that means when you're racing, the oil doesn't race to one side of the engine or not. You might have heard the exhaust. That is a straight pipe, three inch. There's two air foils, one for the back, and this is for the venting the heat out of the car. The first two Audis actually caught in fire and burnt to the ground because they couldn't get the heat out of the engine. Does it come with the Iron Man suit? <laughs> nah. This is a house. Instead of buying me a house in Palm Springs, this is a house. Was it to replace the one you lost to your other wife? No, no. no. <laughs> wow. See, I'm going to put it to the drive. Okay, I'm in. Coming up, will Chris's Audi get skewered on the test drive? Like, nothing special inside. Plus, Francisco's low-riding Regal spices up the competition. Oh, my God. <laughs> tested Yeti's Camaro and Will's classic panel truck. Now let's find out if Chris's dark night is a superhero out on the road. Perfect. <laughs> right, yeah. Speechless, man. Yeah, Speechless. This thing is incredible. Francisco is Amazing. speechless. Starts up nice. The engine rumbles perfectly. You take this thing out on the road and it responds just as well as it looks. Make me want to sell my car. <laughs> A compliment. <laughs> Anybody can put carbon fiber on it. Other than that, it's nothing special inside. Looking around in it, it doesn't look a whole lot different than my mother's Audi wagon. Inside, with a little bit of carbon fiber, her car would look the same. If I had this car, I'd go to Beverly Hills and I'd drive it every day. It's not going to hold very many shoes, though. But I mean, we can have some fun in it. <laughs> you know, roll down the windows. Hey! It's kind of scary to drive. Come on. Just to think how much it costs, and oh my god, if you dented it, it's such an expensive car. It's just outrageous how much it costs. It's down payment for my house. But can all that money buy Chris some winning scores? For appearance, I give it an 8. He should have washed it up. If he would have washed it up, I would have given him a 10. It was really dirty. For performance, I give the Dark 9 a 7 because it's like one of my favorites. It's a great car. On personality, I'd say seven. Car's probably closer to a 10. Chris is probably closer to a five. With the last two cars, I know I minced them, diced them, skinned them, sauteed them, and served them up on a platter. Oh, I'm worried about Francisco right now. I just don't know what he's going to pull out of his back pocket. Just wait until this chef feasts his eyes on Francisco's car. My name is Francisco. I'm out of Montclair, California, and this is Agent Orange. One Regal featured a new aerodynamic design. That same year, the Regal won the Daytona 500. But Francisco's car isn't about racing, it's about cruising. Driving this car, you'll love it. You'll feel like the happiest person on earth. I'm driving down the street, you see a couple of cute girls, you hit the switches, and what do you think? They throw their panties at the car. Oh! Oh! oh. Look at this. oh. <laughs> That's awesome. I was excited to see that it was a low rider on hydraulics when he picked it up and dropped it. I was thinking, oh, this is cool. I'm going to get to drive one of these things. No low curbs for you, sir. Beat Agent Orange. Fully re 
already done. Custom orange, custom matching grill to the paint. We got the patterned out roof, all chrome undercarriage, steering linkage, sway bar, differential, drive axle, drive shaft. I hate low riders. They're just not my kind of style car. The mural. Oh, you brought, oh my gosh. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh, you had to oh, have that. God. That's a lot of batteries. Six batteries, two pumps. Take okay. a look under the okay. hood. You know what? I'm not gonna cut it. I know what'll help me. Bounce it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Five by six. There's nothing major done to the engine. It's just stock. Nothing done to it. Nothing, nothing done to it. It's not meant to go fast. Neither is mine. It was all this oil on. dripping over the uh, air filter. Oh, that was a leak from the yeah. hose. Oh, As you can yeah. tell, he taped it before he came yeah, over exactly. here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's better than having shoes in the trunk. <laughs> I can't wear shoes. They're clean. Francisco's card, I love the playfulness. Okay, like this. Okay. Like this. There you go. But, you know, it's a lowrider. It's got small wheels. It goes up and down a lot. Well, what more can I say? If you want to go on a test drive, we'll all jump in there. The drivers are about to find out what happens when the hydraulics hit the high road. That's right. I can dig on this. I like this. <laughs> All right, well, oh my God, like that. I didn't even. Hear you. I even hit him like I know what I'm doing. The whole riding low, going slow, it's just an amazing feel. That's kind of what I'm about more than going fast. You know what they're saying? Look at the white guy driving this car. What are they? You want me to hit some switches? They can hit some switches, I guess. Make him bounce. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I really, really, really do hate low riders. I think... No horn! No horn! <laughs> yeah, no horn! But I had a blast in there. I think it was nice because we all fit in there and we all had a good time. I don't want to tell you the truth because... <laughs> I don't like low riders. See that? Everybody appreciates a car like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's check out the radio some tunes. Here we go. We were playing the music, we are having a good time, but I couldn't steer the car. Look at this, I'm playing with the steering wheel, not going anywhere. It got me really nervous of going up and down in the car. And when the other people looked at the car and started pointing and laughing, that's not what I'm used to. I'm used to people taking pictures of me and going, cool car. It's but, only in the front, not so much in the back. It's not bad, I make babies in the back seat back there. Whoa, whoa, not the two of us. <laughs> Did the other drivers have high marks for this low rider? Appearance on Agent Orange, I give it a six. Paint's kind of missing that sparkle. It doesn't really, really pop. It's not like, wow, this thing's a low rider. For a performance, I'd give it a six. I felt like it was a little bit bumpy. Francisco, car, ride, number. Very easy. For personality, it's a 10. That is 100% him. Today, I had a great time. My competition was unclear about lowrider. I cleared that up for sure. Our four drivers have given it their all, but only one can take that final victory lap. My Cheetos is gonna eat up the competition. They have nothing on him. I would say the biggest competition for me is Agent Orange. Will's car, great car. Overall, a very good fitting car for Will. Chris, after seeing his car, I can see why he has it. They're both really loud and fun to hang around. Coming up, the cars have been driven and the scores have been tallied. But who will take the My Ride Rules trophy? The cars have been shown off and all the scores have been tallied. Each car has been ranked from 1 to 10 on appearance, performance, and personality. Now it's time to find out who's taking the prize. Our four contestants are lined up. They each have a stoplight in front of them, but only one of these lights will turn green. And that car will be named Best in Show. Will it be Yeti's Candy Camaro? I got my candy apple red paint job. Of course I'm gonna win. Yeti's Camaro's just painting rims. And sorry to say, but I don't think that's enough. You can't come to a big boy's party and expect to play with two toys. You need more. Or Will's pristine panel truck. Seeing the good, the bad, and the ugly, nobody else is going to be able to touch me. Kind of worry about Will. He took a lot of care. He had a vision. Lady in red is nice. I thought it was so sexy from the front. I love the chrome. I love how it was so clean and shiny. 
But for pure power, don't count out Chris's supercharged Audi R8. I've got the car, I've got the style, I'm here, I've got the green light. The only thing that could put Chris in the winner's category is the horsepower that that car has. Chris likes to talk a lot of smack, but at the end, his car is just stock. It looks like he drove it out of the dealership. Or maybe it's Francisco's blinged out Buick Regal. Between the fun and all the hard work that went into Agent Orange, how can I lose? Agent Orange, it's cool ride. It was an amazing feeling to go up and down. As I'm driving it, I'm feeling I'm just on top of the world. Francisco, I'm sorry, but it's a low rider. It's time to reveal our winner. The car that gets the green light will be named Best in Show and take home the My Ride Rules Trophy, $1,000 in cash, and roll away with a prize package from Prestone Car Care. And the winner of this week's Best in Show is... Chris and his Dark Knight Audi R8. Scores broke down. Chris's Audi sliced up the competition, giving him a total of 71 points. Woo! Will's panel truck took a close second with 69 points. Yenny came in a distant third with 51 points. Francisco's Agent Orange ended up in last place with 48 points. Dark Knight's an amazing car. Who wouldn't love it? I feel like crap. We lost. We came and we lost. Probably too generous on our scoring. Woohoo! All right! All I can think of how he could win is just with the horsepower. The car is nothing special, and he's kind of a dork. Where's the scorecards? I want to keep see them. Keep the trophy. I'll take the trophy. Oh, girl. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Right. Chris and his Audi R8 served up a kick-ass meal of personality and performance. I just had a heck of a good time. It's just a thrill to be with people with love cars, and my car came through. Somebody's got to take the prize, and the prize girl home, and it's me. As far as this chef is concerned, everyone else can eat his dust. Yeah, my right rules!